All right, so I am very excited. Uh, something just came in the mail from Amazon. Hey guys, hello, what's going on guys? Uh, so I hope everybody's having a good Sunday morning. Um, I had a great breakfast in my life. I woke up and ate French toast. Ooh, that was so good. Uh, I had to run to Home Depot to grab some wood. I'm gonna be making some baskets today, I think. Um, also gotta go to my mom's house. Uh, they just got a new little tiki hutch put up in their backyard. So I'll show that to y'all real quick. And then uh, we'll grab some, see if they got any wood chips and uh, a couple extra pots. Uh, but we're gonna go to Home Depot first. And this is the most packed I've ever seen Home Depot in my life. Uh, so much for social distancing, right? Uh, so uh, we'll make a trip in here real quick and then I'll uh, take it all the food. the pot from my mom's house and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be I don't even know where they got this one it looks like a small swimming pool and uh, as you see I kept some logs and some pine needles and everything in there just so uh you know, we get the hugo culture going on so I don't know what I'm putting it yet I think I'm gonna transplant my lemon tree in there. <clears throat> so uh I'm gonna swap this water hose out I hate regular water hoses I only use the flex uh, shrinking ones so I'm gonna swap that out. So while I was at Home Depot earlier in that crowded mess, I uh, found me a bottle brush I liked. I want one of these. This is bottle brush of Woodland Red. So I bought me a pot and I'm gonna transplant. I've always wanted one of these. My grandpa has them in his house. So I've always wanted one. So uh, I hope I bought a pot big enough. I can always, I can always transplant it. But uh, I'm gonna get that potted up. And uh, I always do it in a wagon or the back of my truck. That way if I do make a mess, it just goes back in the wagon. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna transplant this one into a bigger pot. <laughs> So uh, I just planted this bottle brush. And I know they're supposed to attract butterflies and everything like that. I have not seen <clears throat> one butterfly uh, this entire t this entire spring. And it's, I just planted this, and I saw a butterfly land right here. There's a big, there's a small, smaller blue blue butterfly. And I haven't seen one this in all spring. And I thought that was amazing. These are supposed to really attract uh, butterflies, bees, um, everything. So I'm really excited already. Hey guys, so uh, today I was at Home Depot, I picked up a cool little product. Uh, these are Di Diablo uh, Speed Demon Spade Bit Sets. Uh, if you see them right there, I'll do a close up. Uh, but they're really nice. The only thing is I wish they came with like a, I wish they came with this with a case. They just came with this little package. So uh, <clears throat> I think I got an idea. I'm gonna take a, like a scrap piece of two by four that I cut off the other day. Uh, I'm gonna drill some holes and I got a couple magnets. And I think I'm gonna, put them magnetically to like my toolbox or something. Um, so I'll take y'all along with me and I'll put you in time lapse while I drill these holes. Um, I kind of lined up kind of right here, kind of spaced out the way I want them. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, but uh, I'll go ahead and, re the, re the real reason I like these a lot is they fit on my impact. They fit on my impact, uh, they're perfect. So uh, I'll take y'all along with me and we'll uh, make a little, make a little block with a magnet to have them organized. I like to be as organized as I can be.
really, really important that whenever you use that torch or any kind of torch, you drain all of the gas out of the hose before you store it because you may start smelling something and be like, what the hell is going on? Uh, drain your hose. <music> Uh, if y'all wanna know what I used on this block, I used boiled linseed oil. That's the only thing I use in my wood anymore. I don't use anything toxic. Uh, boiled linseed oil is the best thing you can use on your, your stuff, it's non-toxic. Uh, you might have to apply it a couple different times, maybe once or twice a year, but it keeps your, uh, keeps your wood looking really good. Uh, dry wood is no good. So dry wood, no good, keep it oiled. All right, so uh, I got the finished product here. Um, I took a scrap piece of 2x4 and turned it into something to uh, store my $20 uh, drill bits. You know, <clears throat> it's all about organization. It's all about, you know, if you have the tool and you don't know where it's at, then it's worthless to you. So if you can find your tool easily, you know exactly where it's at, <clears throat> that's, a, that's priceless, you know. So we're going to go put this on the wall and move on to the next thing. All right, so I am very excited. Uh, something just came in the mail from Amazon. Uh, this past week, my wife went to a estate sale and got me one of these big squares. But this one is rusty, rusty, rusty. So, they wanted to try this product for a while. Um, and I'll turn it around and I'll show you real quick. This is called Evapo Rust. It is non-toxic, biodegradable, safe on skin and eyes, and reusable. So I'm very excited about it. It says, small object with de-rusting, pre-clean item if it is oily, rinse item and completely immerse it to be de-rusted in one to 12 hours depending on the depth and age of rust. Check progressively, check progress periodically once rust is removed, rinse item with water. So I'm gonna do that in a couple of wrenches. I'm gonna put you on time lapse and we'll check it out. All right, so it has been about 12 hours um, with everything in that submerged solution. And uh, here's the product. I ended up using my compost shaker and a plastic liner to uh, use as liquid. And the cool thing about this stuff is it's, uh, it's reusable. So you can put it back into the container and reuse it. So, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna re, re uh, let it go a little bit longer. I'm gonna let it go probably about 12 more hours. It says go from one hour to 24 hours. And I've been flipping it. So uh, I will continue to let it soak for about another 12 hours. So if you like this video, um, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, watch my videos, share them. Like I said, I do have the, the Noack Farms hat giveaway. 
going on through the end of June. There may be more than one winner of that because I know some people are, are more excited about it than others. But uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. It, it actually is tomorrow. So this is going to go on yesterday's video. So.